Okay, so welcome back to my set series. Today, we will be learning about factoring. So, yung factoring, basically we reverse the procedure of multiplying binomials or monomials. Okay? So, the first kind of factoring that we can do is the common monomial factoring. So, ito yung pinakamadali kasi sinasabi lang niya is if you have an expression, let's say ax plus ay, you can just bring out yung a, no? So, this will become a times x plus y. And if you distribute a again, makukuha mo yung ax plus ay. So, for example, let's, you have 2x cubed y plus 18x squared y cube. Okay? So, hanapin mo lang yung common na monomial na pwede mo yung ilabas. Okay? So, dito, yung common na monomial mo na pwede ilabas is 6x squared y. Bakit? Kasi, between the two terms, yung pinakamalaking exponent ng x ay 2. So, yun lang kukunin mo. Then, between y, yung pinakamalaking exponent ng y is 1. So, yun lang kukunin mo. And then, you basically divide yung common monomial mo by each of the terms. So, 12x cubed y divided by 6x squared, that will be 2x. Then, 18x squared y cubed divided by 6x squared y, that will be 3y squared. Okay? So, yan na yung factor or common monomial factoring ng 12x cubed y plus 18x squared y. Okay? Next is what we call the difference of two squares. Okay, so basically, if you have a polynomial na x squared minus y squared yung form, you can factor this to x plus y times x minus y. Okay, so kaya siya tinawag na difference of two squares kasi ito ay square, ito ay square. So, yung difference nila ay difference of two squares. So, for example, you have x squared minus 9, pwede mo i-factor to into x minus 3, x plus 3. Okay, so bakit 3? Kasi kinukuha lang natin yung y. No? So, yung y squared dito ay 9, so yung y ay plus and minus 3. Okay? We can also extend this to, let's say, 25x squared minus 16. Pwede rin siya both terms, no? So, this will be 5x minus 4 and 5x plus 4. Okay? So, basta may nakita ka na x squared minus y squared yung form, pwede mo lang i-factor kagad using difference of 2 squares. Okay? Next is the sum and difference of two cubes naman. No? So if you have two squares, then you have two cubes. So sum or difference of two cubes. So yung form na x cubed plus y cubed or x cubed minus y cubed, pwede mo i-factor yan. No? So yung x cubed plus y cubed, ang factorization yan ay x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared. Then yung x cubed minus y cubed naman ay x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared. So, kung mapapansin nyo lang, kung positive yan, positive din to, pero negative itong middle term. Kung negative yung nasa gitna, negative din to, then positive yung nasa gitna. Okay? So, for example, you have, let's say, x cubed plus 8. Ito ay pwede i-factor to x plus 2. Okay, so kinukuha mo yung cube root nung y cube. Then, times x squared minus 2x plus y squared. Okay? So, another example, let's have, uh, let's say, 125x cubed plus 8y cubed. So, again, you can factor this into 5x plus 2y. Okay. Then, 
yung second term ay 25x squared minus 10xy plus 4y squared. Okay? So, basically, kukunin mo lang yung cube root nito, then cube root nito, and then yun na yung first term and second term ng factorization niya. Okay? Yun lang ang sum and difference ng two cubes. Next is, you have yung perfect square trinomials. So, ang perfect square trinomial ay makukuha mo if you multiply x plus y by x plus y. Okay? So, if you multiply x plus y by x plus y using foil, you get x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Tama? And then you also have x minus y times x minus y. If you multiply this, you have x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Okay? So, we call yung mga polynomials in the form like this ay perfect square trinomials. And you factor them by undoing yung multiplication. Okay? So, for example, we have x squared plus 2x plus 1. You can factor this by looking at the first term and last term. And then, yung gitnang term ba ay 2 times nung product nung square root nung outer elements. Okay? So, if yes, then yung factorization yan ay basically x plus 1 lang squared. Okay? So, let's have another example. Let's say you have x squared plus 10x plus 25. You check the first and last terms. And then, tignan mo yung gitnang term. Twice ba siya ng square root nung product ng first and last term? So, in this case, 2 times ba siya ng x times 5? And yes. So, yung factorization nito ay basically x plus 5 squared. Okay? Ganun lang yung perfect square trinomials. Next is, we have yung mas general na term for this, no? Mas general na perfect square trinomials, which is quadratic trinomials. So, quadratic trinomials ay basically x plus a times x plus b, wherein a and b are uh, integers or numbers. Okay? So, if you expand this, this will be x squared plus a plus b times x plus ab. So, we represent b to be equal to a plus b and c to be equal to ab. Okay? So, ito yung term na yan. So, what we do is mag-iisip tayo ng number, okay, ng dalawang number na kapag in mo equal sa b and then pag minultiply mo equal sa c. Okay? I think it's much better to show na lang an example. No? So, kunyari, you have x squared plus 7x plus 12. Yung b mo dito ay 7. Okay? Yung c mo dito ay 12. So, mag-iisip ka ngayon ng dalawang number. No? Mag-iisip ka ng dalawang number, kapag in ko, dapat equal sa 7. Then, pag multiply ko, equal sa 12. So, isip ka, may isip mo na 4 and 3, kumagana. Okay? So, yung factorization na ngayon niya ay in this format. A, x plus A times X plus B, which is X plus 4 times X plus 3. Okay? So, pwede rin magbaliktad. Mayari, maging X plus 3 times X plus 4. So, let's have another example. So, kunyari, you have uh, x squared minus 3x minus 28. Then, we need to factor this. So, yung b mo ay equal sa negative 3. Then, yung c mo ay equal sa negative 28. Okay? So, ngayon, isip ka ng dalawang numbers, no? Pagka in ko at minultiply ko, equal sa negative 3 and negative 28. So, maisip mo na dapat negative 7 and 4 gumagana, no? So, ngayon yung factorization nito ay x minus 7 na times x plus 4. So, ganun lang kasimple. Lastly, we have yung mga mas complicated na. No? Let's say you have trinomials in the form ax squared plus bx plus c wherein a is not equal to 1, no? Kasi dito, lagi yung A natin equal sa 1, no? So, mga previous examples natin. So, ngayon, we have now, dapat na AX squared plus BX plus C to be factorable into AX plus B times CX plus D. Okay? Meaning, 
A will be equal to AC, B ay equal sa B, C plus AD, okay, using FOIL, and C to be equal to B times D. Okay? So, ang method natin dito is to apply what we call the AC test. Okay? So, the AC test is basically get the product, okay, of AC, and then, second, find two factors of AC that will give the sum of B. So, yung sum ng dalawang factors na yun magiging means and yung product nila magiging extremes. Natatawagin natin M and E respectively. So, for example, you have, let's say, 6x squared plus 5x minus 4. So, yung A mo dito ay 6, yung B mo ay 5, yung C mo ay minus 4. No? So, A equals 6, B equals 5, C equals minus 4. And ngayon, mag-iisip ka ngayon no? using the AC test. So, AC ay equals sa 6 times minus 4. This will be equal to negative 24. And then, mag-iisip ka ngayon ng dalawang numbers na makakuha ka ng sum ng 5. Okay? So, mag-iisip ka ngayon. So, dapat meron kang M okay, na equal sa negative 3 and yung E na equal sa 8. Okay? So, M yung means and E yung extremes. If we have now the factor, okay, so we make parenthesis, yung means ay dapat ito, minus 3. And then yung extremes ay dapat 8. Okay? So ngayon, mag-isip ka, ano ba yung dapat na maging numbers na nandun? Okay? So, you are left with dapat ito 2x, diba? Dapat, tapos ito 4. Okay? Kasi kapag ka hindi, magiging masyado malaki if naging 8 and 1. Okay? Then next is dapat yung product na nandito ay negative 3. Okay? So, yung possible lang nun ay maging negative 1 to and 3x to. Okay? So, now you have the factors of 6x squared plus 5x minus 4 to be equal to 2x minus 1 times 3x plus 4. So, this is just a method para hindi tayo nag-trial and error to guess the factors ng trinomials in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c wherein yung a i not equal to 1. Okay? So, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below and I hope to see you again next time.